If you haven't seen The Great Mouse Detective since it came out in 1986, I highly recommend it. The movie has it all, fun antics, great characters, a fantastic villain voiced by the great Vincent Price, and it has one scene whose unique form of computer-assisted animation make it kinda groundbreaking. But I'm not here to talk about any of that. I'm here to talk about a mathematical detail in the movie, an oddity of spatial reasoning that sneaks past quickly in the movie and sets my head spinning every time. Let's take a look at a clip, see if you can spot it. Now, the cool thing about this scene is that it's based on real science. In real guns, there are tiny grooves in the barrel that leave a pattern of striations on the bullet as it gets fired. This pattern is visible under a microscope, and it does get used as forensic evidence to trace a bullet to the gun that fired it. That much, at least, is real. And I'm sure that the reality is more nuanced, but one does not need all the nuance to understand what is peculiar about Basil's technique. Take another look. If two bullets were fired from the same gun, you would expect the striations to match, but you'd expect them to match like this, with the bullets pointed the same direction. Flip one bullet around so that the bullets are back to back, and it flips the pattern upside down, so you wouldn't expect the alignment that's depicted in this shot. When equipped, or should I say burdened, with this understanding, the scene reads very differently, as if Basil has found a bullet from a crime scene and is looking not for the gun that fired it, but for a copy of that gun from a parallel universe. Let me know what you think of that theory in the comments. And watch The Great Mouse Detective. It's really fun.